According to a 2011 survey from Food Insight, 93% of Americans agree that breakfast is the most important meal, but maybe it should be brunch. Joining us now is the best-selling author of Wake the Fork Up, Gary Watson. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Okay, I I love the whole, I love brunch. I think it's such an in, enjoyable meal. But you say that there are three reasons we should wait to eat in the morning, right? That's right. Let's start with the first one. There are actually three reasons. The first reason is because we know that our hormones require about 14 to 16 hours of fasting on a daily basis okay. to increase our fat metabolism. And you don't get that much sleep, obviously. No, so, so technically avoid. we all fast during our sleeping period. Okay. So we need to just extend it a little bit longer when we wake in the morning. Okay, so that's for our hormones. Now the next is for our metabolism right? Correct. We okay. found research has proven that by simply shortening the time period in which we consume the exact same calories mm -hmm. and the exact same foods, we can increase weight loss up to 30 percent. So you wow. eat the exact same foods, but you would just eat, say, from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. So you wait a little bit longer to actually eat that delicious breakfast. And now you say overeating can sabotage our nutrition, right? Well, let's... I feel like this is a problem that I have. Let's face it, Brittany, if I have to wake up every morning and look at that plate of pancakes, mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but it's hard for me to just say no. Yeah. So this is why I say do yourself a favor, skip the breakfast, because let's face it, the less time we're spending fueling or eating all day, yeah. the less time to do the wrong things. Okay. So do you recommend like eating maybe a snack when you wake up or just wait all together until it's brunch time? If we are carrying extra weight on our bodies, we have stored energy on our bodies. Okay. We don't need to... So you can to, live off of that. You can live off okay. of that. In fact, your body wants you to live off that in order for you to start burning that okay. to increase that fat metabolism. Okay. Now, you say you have, you have some, a way to remember these tips, right? Right. I have a very easy fork formula for your viewers. Okay. F stands for fasting. We must extend our time away from food. Mm -hmm. O own your nutrition. You and only you are responsible for what you put in your body. The R stands for the right exercise prescription. There's a right way to exercise to increase fat metabolism. And the K is keep it simple yet specific. Okay. Our specific goals is to burn lots of fat mm -hmm. and keep lean, sexy tone muscle. Okay. Now, of course, we have your book right here. Where can people find this book? What do you find in this book? Uh, kind of the tips you just gave us? You is find a complete total body transformation from okay. A to Z. Great exercise. There's, there are also mind maps in there for keeping you on track with your goals. Okay. And of course, a big portion of it is nutrition because that's so important. That's and right. they can find that at waketheforkup.com. Okay. All right. Well, Gary, thank you so much. I got to get this book so that I can start waiting to eat. And we'll have that link so that you guys can get that book at casa.com.